Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Queen with the Heart, and I am back with a card today. And today's card is a thank you card. So I decided, and it's for cards TV stamps. So I am doing, let's see, which one? It's a brand new stamp set that I, I got from Mary, and I think it's very, very cute. Let me see if I can find the other one. Because I used two stamp sets for this one, and where is the other one? I use, well, Happy Days. Okay, so this is what I used. I used this one, which is Foodie Punnies, and it's really, really cute. Um, I'm using the Orange You Sweet, but I also like You're a Peach. That's a good one for Thank You. Um, and I have like, uh, you know, just general, you're a good egg. That's cute. So I really like it. So that one's really cute. And then I'm using the Happy Days. This is the one that everybody needs to get because it's got Halloween, anniversary, graduation. So happy for you. Father's Day, happy everything. Easter, birthday, New Year, Valentine's, Thanksgiving, Grandparents' Day, Wedding Day, Holidays. Just lots of everything happy. So it's really, really nice. So anyway, this is what I am going with today. So we have a five and a half by four and a quarter card base. And I'm actually using Bow Bunny, the spring uh, six by six. Hello, Sunshine. It's from last year. And I've never opened it or used it. So here we go. So this is how it's going to start. It's five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I've got this piece right here. Um, which is five and a quarter by four, and then it just needed a little something, so I did a little bit of um, doodles around the edge, some stitch. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this part, and get this baby going. Oh wait, maybe I didn't use that one. Happy days. I didn't use happy days. Oops. Happy days is a great stamp too, though. I know what I did. I know what I did. I was creative. I'm going to show you how I was creative. That's right. I was creative. You guys will get to see that, you know. So, we've got this piece right here, which I'm going to put on the side right here. And this is like one and a quarter by four. And I did just a tiny bit of doodling, and actually I think it's going to go this way. So that's going to go right here. And I'm not putting it down on my car base yet, because I think, I think I've got some twine that I'm going to use. So there's that. Okay, and now I've got this matting. So I used my elegant edges, which I really like, and I used my Swiss dots right here. And I think this was cut at three and three quarters, and then the shadow, and then I just flipped it this way because this is the orientation I want to use it for. But it cuts, it cuts this way, and that's the measurement for the height is the measurement this way. So you want to look at your your width as well as your height if that's you know going to make a difference. Sometimes if I'm if I'm using my Cricut and this is uh, the map that I'm using then I will leave my Cricut cut on my um, on my Gypsy so that I could I could compare and make sure it fits in my the spot that I'm designing for my mat. Okay, so there's this right here. And yeah, I think it can, this can go down. So my cut is super simple. I think ooh, I think it's from preserves. I just totally forgot. Actually, I think I want to put this, I think I forgot a piece here. I've got this piece, which is cut a little bit smaller than my brown, that I'm actually going to fit. Right here. There we go. That's better. So there's my mat and my card base. Okay, so here's my image. It's an orange, and I think it's very cute. I use a um, peachy keen face and just kind of use a little bit of my white pen to kind of make it pop a little bit, and I've got that on foam, and I think I'm going to do it at an, um, 
at an angle in the middle like that. So it's cute, super stinking cute. And I get all this foam off of here. Oops. So, and this foam that I'm using is from Close My Heart. So there is that part. Now I'm going to actually um, do some twine. So I'm going to kind of put some places on the back for me. I have no idea how much, much this is. I'm going to use of this. But generally what I do is I kind of attach it in the back. And then I kind of wind it around and I catch this other side that I have some ATG on and that's kind of how I how I do my my twine so I think it's gonna be like one more time around is what I'm thinking and then I'll be calling it a day so take it right here and then I just cut off what I'm not using okay now I'm ready to put it on my card so that's gonna have to be how it goes just gives it a little extra something I actually need more twine I have like Martha Stewart twine I have a little bit of um, what is it my mind's eye twine But I would love to get some from the twinery. I just haven't. Okay, so here we go. And I've got my sentiment, which is right here. Orange you sweet. Which I think is very cute for a thank you card. And then I will show you my creativeness in using my card's TV stamps. So that's going to go right up here. Orange you sweet. And I've got my little orange buttons, which I think are really, really cute. So I've got one that goes right there. And one that is going to go right here. And then one that's going to go right. Actually, I'll put it right here. Okay, so cute, right? Now, for my sentiment, it just says thank you. So, aren't you sweet? Thank you. It's just very simple, just matted on scrap from this paper. But I'm actually using the snow days. So, I didn't actually have a card CV that said just thank you, except I use this one that says thank you, snow much. So all I did was mask off the snow much and just stamp thank you, and then I've got it. So, you know, there's always versatility in your stamps if you um, are looking for it. And then this is just going to fit on the inside. Very simple. And there we go. So a very cute little... Thank you card, orange you sweet, and then it just says thank you. And you can write your little sentiment and everything inside. So thank you very much for watching today. This is Cindy with Crane with the Heart.